Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on Larry's Telegram channel, called Tartaria and History Channel. Please check the description to know more about his channel. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. The Griffin the griffin are beasts of myth just like the unicorns and the dragons, but with all things of myth, there is always a nugget of truth. I ask myself could such a majestic creature have once roamed on our mother earth, and I say yes without the proof. I just believe, call it faith, or wishful thinking. As with all beautiful things, man would have destroyed it, be it from fear or sport. But imagine if we could see those beautiful griffins flying high in the sky today. What do you think? Standing at 7 feet and 9 inches, Martin Van Buren Kentucky Giant Bates was an unforgettable figure to encounter on the Civil War battlefield. Date of birth, November 9, 1837. Date of death, January 19, 1919. Too many evidences that we were living among giants. What do you think? eighteen seventy three august eighth the new york times an indian's grave at a point a little below manhattan on the banks of the mummy construction began on a new road while engaged in this work yesterday the workers unearthed a human skeleton evidently the remains of a famous chief of the mummy or ottawa tribe of indians one of the workers estimated the skeleton's height to around eight feet the skull was of unusually large size, and in the lower jaw was a row of double teeth, in a better state of preservation than many now doing daily duty. The double row of teeth seems to be common amongst giants. What do you think? Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update and watch to the end to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. The world has over 6,000 languages, but how often have you heard Anachian? The Anachian language is a researched but still mysterious form of communication, allegedly handed down from the angels themselves. Named for the biblical figure Enoch, the Anachian language has become a means of magic for the world of the occult, although its validity has come into question over the years. The occult or angelic language was recorded, in the human world, in the private journals of John Dee and his colleague Edward Kelly, in late 16th century England. Dee was a man of the science turned magic seeker, and Kelly was a spirit medium who worked with Dee in his magical investigations. What do you think? The Gateway to Hell Auska Castle is located in the forests north of Prague. The sole reason to build this castle was to close the gateway to hell. It is said that underneath the castle is a bottomless pit filled with demons. In the 1930s, the Nazis conducted experiments in the castle of the occult variety. Years later upon its renovation, skeletons of several Nazi officers were discovered. Many different types of ghosts are seen around the castle, including a giant bulldog, a frog, a human, a woman in old dress, and most spooky of all, a headless black horse. What do you think?
This is the Richard structure, more commonly known as the Eye of the Sahara. Plato suggested that there was another continent called Atlantis with its capital with the same name. However, there is more evidence that the capital of Atlantis was located more to the east, the Richard structure. This series of images show the salt deposites, the blue-whitish deposites and the raised structures in rings, a more than likely flood, and how the city of Atlantis could have looked. Plato described Atlantis, the city, to have mountains to the north, which for the Richard structure you can also see. What do you think? It is a mine of carnalite beneath the city of Yekaterinburg in Russia. A mineral used to make fertilizer which takes on colors ranging from yellow to red to blue, and which has been deposited in natural layers to form psychedelic waves. The mine is closed to the public, but photographer Mikhail Mishanik managed to break in for about 20 hours to bring back these spectacular images. What do you think? Some said that old trees also serve as information storage, databases and hard drives in our modern language usage. Everything that happens in the universe registers the trees in its information portal. The person with good enough sensitivity can go for a walk in the woods and easily access information from the past just by touching the tree trunks. This could be the reason why they chose to remove them. What do you think? Archaeologists discover large quantities of liquid mercury beneath the Pyramid of the Feathered Serpent, the third largest pyramid in the ancient ruined city of Teotihuacan in Mexico. They have no idea why the liquid mercury was present or what use the ancients might have had for it. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.